Hello, my name is Mr. McGuire and welcome to this video where we will be looking at a required practical in biology which involves sampling but in this case using a transect line. So in the background of the title page you can see that we have a tape measure and a uh, quadrat and that quadrat I can tell you is a 50 centimeter square so let's look at how we would use that. So our first uh, outcome for today's lesson would be that description of the process of providing valid data using a transect line and our second outcome to explain how we can increase the accuracy and validity of the data. So the right hand picture again shows you the equipment that we're going to use but I want to place that equipment into a context. So here is our context. So we've got a mature tree and you can see that I have run the quadrat line from the trunk of the tree at the top up by the a, uh, trunk of the tree is the quadrat laid out and you can see that we have a very large difference in light level as you run from the end of the tape measure at the trunk outwards. So this is a very typical kind of question that we would be asked. Uh, I've left it very general. How does the distance from a tree affect the growth of grass? Now fairly obviously uh, we could be measuring a number of factors that would change as we move out from under the tree but to name two very simply uh, light level for one and also the amount of water because of shelter by the tree. In this instance we're going to look at a light level. So I've put two photographs that I have taken of separate uh, quadrats that have been taken along the transect line. At each point I have placed the front edge of the quadrat on the, the meter that it should be on. So you can see on the left photograph for example that is taken at one meter. Uh, as you move away from the tree, you can see that the photograph on the right has a far higher percentage of grass cover. Now, we could be looking at the effect of light level, so the tape measure is purely there to allow us to organise a change as we move along the tape measure. It's not part of the measuring, we need to record the light level and the percentage of grass cover. If we were looking at the effect of water, then we would have to measure a water sample that fell on each of those separate quadrat points. And again, the transect line is only there to allow us to organize. Now, it's very important that we recognize equipment that can be used in uh, measuring. And I want to give you a bit of a tip. If, uh, for example, you need to measure light level, then this is a light measurer. If you needed to measure pollution, then it's not necessary for you to be able to name a specific equipment, but don't be stumped by the fact that you might need, for example, a pollution meter. So whatever it is, a water meter, for example, that they are asking you to measure, it's that word with the word meter on the end. Um, a wind meter for example uh, rather than more complicated uh, names and an anometer that you may uh, need to know. So here's some data I've recorded for the first uh, four quadrats so that would take us out to eight meters from the tree because a quadrat was run every two meters. You can see that the light level has increased because you were in shade when you were close under what was a very mature tree. And uh, we can also see that the percentage of grass cover has increased. So we would uh, need to draw a graph at this point which had light level against a grass cover. And that would allow us then to answer the question we posed earlier, uh, which could be how does light level affect a percentage grass cover or it could be water. Uh, and we would have to measure those and come up with a way of doing those. In this instance, it's just uh, an app. Uh, saved onto a phone which was free so it's very easy to do. So increasing the validity of our results 
Uh, we could reduce the sampling distance from two meters to one meter. Please don't be confused if you're given an example in an exam where they sample every 100 meters, for example, by uh, trying to increase validity by doubling it to 200 meters. You've just reduced the number of samples, not increased them. So you would uh, maybe sample every 50 meters. We're giving you twice the number of results. We need to control factors such as light level by doing the work rapidly, especially if we're working outside, because obviously uh, light levels will increase uh, early morning and then decrease at night. And the weather may also have an impact. Time of year obviously will also have an impact. Uh, we need to run several transect lines. So there's the trunk of the tree in the center and we could increase the validity of the results instead of just running a single tape measure. We could repeat the results in different directions uh, using points of the compass, for example. Now the method. So this is our first uh, learning outcome at the top of the page, the challenge. First thing we need to do is to run a transect line along the floor. We then uh, use the same distance between each quadrat. So in my example, it was two meters and we use the same quadrat. And by that, I mean the same size, half meter square. Uh, we would count whatever the sample is that we're looking at, in my case, percentage grass cover and then we would graph the sample to show how the factor affects the particular objective so the objective in this case is grass cover and the factor would be light level so in conclusion then remember that you can pause the video on the previous slide for example to record a method or look at the data try and describe what's shown on that table um, we have for our first outcome, we should be able to describe the process of providing valid data using a transect line and our second outcome to be able to explain how the accuracy and validity of the data can be increased. The examples I've given you on the previous slide are two very straightforward ones that I would really like you to remember to be able to use in any example in an example.